All right, welcome back to the Slavarian Trucker. Picking up right where we left off the last time. Got a couple quests to do today. Still trying to fix up the little car we found, but obviously that needs two more tires at the very least. I turned that off. That's a little bit loud. Uh, let's go ahead and accept this guy's furniture quest. So apparently he didn't get his furniture delivered, and the guy that's supposed to do it lives around the Tarasov oil field. So that's a little bit up north. And then I think one of the delivery guys has a Ludo car, whatever it's called, that he wants us to deliver to uh, Novocherkuda. If I recall correctly, that could be completely wrong here. Yes, yeah, this red little car right here. I mean, to be fair, I do have to pick up furniture, and this is kind of on the way. It would be, it would have been nice to do it all in one go, but uh, let's just get this a little bit closer. We'll park that up right there. And I think we're still doing pretty good on gas. Filled that up mostly last time. Gosh, I feel like we go through that incredibly quickly. Maybe there's a uh, more efficient engines or something else. But hey, at least this gives us a pretty good opportunity to check out that oil field since we kind of glossed over it last time. And as you can see in the back, still so have those two tires and I think the four pieces of suspension for our little car. I forget what it's called. I think it might start with a K or a P. One of the two. And also got a little repair box so we can do some work on whatever breaks down on us. But luckily this uh, truck's actually been pretty dang good and I have not been treating it all that well. Oh, speaking of, just took that turn really badly there. <laughs> oh, gosh. We're good? Yep, yeah, we're good. And, hey, the engine didn't even stall out there. See, this thing's, like, pretty much indestructible. Okay, just made it right. So, we should be getting pretty close to that oil field. Got a bit of uphill, so we got to go to some of the lower gears. Oh, gosh, this is really bogging us down. Okay, I guess first gear it is. It didn't even seem all that steep. Eh, I don't know. Perspective is a little bit weird in the game. But yeah, we gotta look out for some sort of uh, dirt road. I mean, there's kind of one on the map, right? Right next to the oil field. It kind of kind of branches off to the left and up north just a little. I'm assuming that's where his uh, little house or whatever it's gonna be. All right, so that's the oil field over there. Um, here's that little road. I could have sworn we went on this kind of last time right I think we were like running away from pigs or just cutting across the mountains essentially uh you know what it's probably over here yeah kind of reminds me of like oasis a little uh oh oh I think I know why he didn't come deliver furniture there's wild dogs here oh gosh those things are so loud as usual <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely stuff in there. I don't see the guy. I mean, his truck's definitely there. Same thing with that car. So, uh, let's see if we could do yield, uh, distract him and run away for a bit. Okay, hopefully that's kind of far enough. Now to go down the mountain at pretty much full speed here. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, gosh. Maybe not. Might flip the truck. Okay, nah, nah. We're fine. We're totally fine here. I don't really see them coming back down the mountain. Don't hear anything, so... Yep, totally good. Or not. One of them's howling, I think. Oh, gosh. And, yep, that howling does not sound very good whatsoever. So, let's grab ye old knife. If we move, well... Nope. Okay, so we gotta drop the knife. But I, I actually don't really see them, so... I think we're fine. Okay, but yeah, here's all that furniture. Oh, and the guy's right there. Like I say that and just immediately go for the apples. But, uh, my guy could use a little snack. Oh gosh, oh gosh, rats, jeez. Rat jump scare. Was not ready for that. Oh gosh, I did the same thing. Okay, the knife is still there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Kind of forgot stuff just uh, kind of goes through the ground here. Hey, but it's literally just one hit and they're down. Yeah, maybe I should have lured those. Oh gosh, another rat. Okay, at least they're not too strong. Oh gosh, this one's just going around in circles here. Okay, is that it? I really hope it is. I think we're good okay okay now just load up all the furniture and take it back to town i mean i'm not gonna let the last apple go to waste here of course anything else good not really oh no they're back uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh i'm panicking with the knife are they all there oh gosh okay one of them's here i guess i didn't lead them far away enough okay ooh, 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 ooh. oh gosh they really just circle you like crazy Oh my gosh, I might die here. I might die here. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh, get in the truck, get in the truck, get in the truck, get in the truck. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's 
drop the knife. Oh my goodness. And then we do have the military band-aid, which is 20 HP. Okay, I hit that thing quite the number of times and didn't really seem to do much, unfortunately. That thing is brutal. I should have brought the rifle. Oh wait, I have it. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me fortify myself a little bit better here. <laughs> gosh. I'm gonna be stranded here forever. Okay, let's load that up. Oh my gosh, he's on the truck. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, okay. That was absolutely terrifying. See, my guy's hands are shaking. I will just toss some stuff over there, and unfortunately, I think I have to leave the the body here because I don't have that hunting license or whatever. All right, let's try to make this as quick as possible. Oh gosh, rat again. Jeez. These things just do not quit. Okay, at least the rat does like pretty much no damage. Oh, I turned it into meat. Oh, that's pretty cool. I just, again, I don't think I could use that legally. <laughs> so, uh, yep, just gonna have to toss that out. Okay, I distract the dogs with it. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, I think that's just about everything here. I can't pick up this uh, cabinet or the smaller one. Oh, I can pick up that car. Can I really just take any car or whatever? Okay. Um, I think I should just get out of here at this point. I'm pretty sure that's everything. One last look. I don't think they need these doors or anything else like that. Can't touch that truck. Oh, it would have been nice to take those wheels. <laughs> that would have been actually kind of amazing. But yep, I think we're good here. Everything actually fit fairly nicely. Hopefully it, it stays there. Uh, just got to drive a little bit more careful. Yeah, I really just did not go far enough. I think they still chased me further down the mountain than I thought they did. And man, it would really suck to flip over with all these items. So, gosh, I got to pick up the pace a little bit here, but not too fast to flip over. But then I also have to dodge the the wild boars around the corner too. Gosh, this was uh, probably the most dangerous mission yet. Had to deal with rats, wolves or whatever, and... Maybe in a bit some of those boars. And then I guess while we're in the area, how about we pass by those oil fields and just kind of take a look. Again, I'm assuming there's um, either oil cell or buy point type thing. And as we saw with the quarry, probably a uh, area you could get like a mission or two. But man, these are some really bad roads. Like half of it's covered in sand or whatever here. So got those drillers there or oil pumps or whatever. And here's kind of like the main location. And yep, there's definitely a little, little board there. Okay, no wolves or animals around me, right? I think we're good. So what do we got here? Can we buy crude oils? Oh gosh, 20,000. Again, I gotta maybe keep track of prices around towns and whatnot. And yep, just as I thought, you could drop off oil to different locations. Oh my goodness. So four tanks to Romanovich oil refinery. Where the heck's that? Oh, that's not even all that far that'd be 920,000 but um it says tanks I'm assuming some of these like larger ones there which um I definitely just don't have the capacity for unfortunately but dang some of these pay pretty dang good okay might be worth coming back here but uh for now let's just focus on getting this furniture back how are we doing on gas so 90 liters um so went through about 20 there and then maybe another 20 when we come back right now. Okay, here we are at the antique store thing. Um, I'm assuming I would probably just drive on that little spot there. No, but uh, hold on. Let me let me be safe and talk to the guy. It's kind of weird though, because I think in the other town, when we got kind of close. The guy was like, oh yeah, I see you there with the, the trailer and whatnot. Let's come over here. And hey man, I got your furniture. And uh, yep, he's dead. Wild dogs killed him. Told him to build a fence around his house. The animals are getting reckless. He was a good carpenter. I'll call the police to get his body. Thank you for checking it. Here's some compensation. 100000 I mean, was that worth it? And hey, I get to keep all the furniture? Oh, wait. I didn't have to maybe bring I just had to check on the guy. Oh, okay. Well, hey, that's going to be some even more good money there. All right. Last chair there. And yep, 300000 bucks. Not bad at all. I mean, almost died, but sure, totally worth it. Okay, it's a little bit late in the day, so how about I go to sleep, and then tomorrow we'll kind of take that car to, where was it, Nova Tracuda? Oh, it's kind of like that big mountain pass I went through last time. Eh, I think it'll be worth it. And man, I really dinged up this truck here. It's all 
Saw Ben in the back window. Okay, we're officially off. It's still pretty dark outside. And, oh man, I can already tell this is not going to go very well. Um, for whatever reason, this car just does not want to... It's in the truck, man. It's kind of just floating above everything there. So, uh, it's going to slide off very easily. I did try it a couple different ways. Kind of like sideways and all that. But, nope. Just did not want to fit. I guess I could have always used that, like, tow bar thing. But, um, but I think it would have ended up way more damaged. And oh gosh, there's actually traffic on this road. Well, I'm in for a heck of an experience here. But hey, that truck in front of us kind of has the right idea. He has one of those like field top back things. I think that's kind of what I need, but I don't know. In some ways, it might make it more difficult to even fit stuff back there. Because at least here, we kind of have infinite clearance uh, height wise. But again, it's kind of nice to maybe seal stuff in. And, uh,. Yeah, he's driving a little bit slow for my taste, but I think if I pass him, I'm gonna kinda regret it, but I'm gonna do it either way. Oh gosh, already launched it off the truck. Okay, okay. Well, this is pretty much how I expected it to go. Hopefully that doesn't count as uh, too much damage. And I'm kinda curious if I could uh, push this truck, but I also feel like I'd just get run over. Just a little... <laughs> nope, we're good. Yeah, I have no clue why that doesn't sit better. Oh, well. Okay, how about we take a little bit of a shortcut through uh, Magyar Falu instead of going around the coastline. Also gives us a chance to double check to see if they have some wheels at their auto store, if they have one. I forget what these are. I think those were like something with a Z. But hey, I'd be kind of down to throw on some giant tires in the back of the small car make it into like a, a drag racer or something. Although, doesn't really have the engine for that. Okay, I think something went wrong here because there's like a trailer over that fence. And how are we doing on gas still? 64. I think that's more than enough. And oh my gosh, they got tons of tires here. Okay, this was definitely the right place to come to. So we got Zach Matt wheels. And oh, here are the, the Poloska. I think that's our car. Yeah, yeah. Okay, those are 16,000. Go ahead and grab both of those. Um, I guess we'll put the larger tires on the back or something. I think it'll be fine. We also need a radiator because this is the engine we have. Except ours is kind of rusty. But um, yeah, again, it should be fine. We got a Ludo radiator there. Which I think I might have to take. Ludo wheels. And a couple other things here. But yeah... Let's just go ahead and grab that radiator. Again, I think it's kind of like the long drive where you could kind of just put whatever the heck you want. Okay, that was a pretty good stop there. So I think we have pretty much everything for the car. Just need to get back and pretty much build it. Okay, pretty good stop. Pretty good stop. Just kind of make sure to get this car to the Novature Kuda in one piece. But um, yeah, let's see if we can take a little bit of a shortcut. Maybe over some of these mountains because I think that would... uh. Be a million times better than having to go around that entire coastline although i don't know eh, it might be riskier and maybe not worth it if this thing is like sliding off the back every two seconds oh i think they purposely put like a a cliff edge here <laughs> oh okay that shortcut might have been a kind of for nothing slash not really a shortcut i don't think there's a smooth way down maybe just maybe over here might be my final last words. Okay, let's keep it in first. And then, uh, kind of go down over here to the right. Gosh, that back is going to swing out like crazy. I'm slamming on the brakes and it's essentially doing nothing. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Um, kind of, oh, never mind. There it goes. I was going to say, I'm kind of amazed that actually stood on the back of the truck. Okay, as long as I go, don't go in the water, I think we're good. Yep, yep, yep. Totally fine and as planned. As long as I can get that, I'm kind of okay with it. Alright, we'll just leave that running. I'm sure no one will come and crash into it. And yeah, we could totally climb this. Okay. I think that saved us a couple minutes there. Kind of, not really. Oh gosh, we're overheating once again. I think we're kind of through the worst of it. I think we're right about that corner right there, I think. Oh, that was kind of sketchy there. It took that turn a little too fast. Saw the, the car back there jump a little. But hey, we're almost there. I could see the city. 
I forget if we actually passed by this one or not. I think we might have skipped over it to go to a Seversk or Sterlinken. I could be wrong about that, though. Oh, gosh. Gotta pay attention to the road. Oh, yeah, because I definitely don't want to angle this too much. It's really on, like, the back left side, so that's, that's really just not good right there. And we're overheating once again. Maybe I did damage uh, some of the components more than I thought I did. Yeah, we're definitely overheating way more frequently. Okay, we're getting pretty close. I was kind of hoping that hard left turn would kind of move the car a little bit more to the right. But hey, we kind of managed it with only dropping it, what, like twice? I mean, that's not too bad, right? And if I'm being honest, I kind of already forgot the, the name of the place where we're supposed to deliver it. So kind of just going to have to go around to pretty much every store and be like, hey, is this car yours? I mean, I have to assume it's like the auto repair or like the parts shop bag there, right? Or maybe the delivery? I don't know which one makes more sense honestly okay is this uh is this your car good sir let's see let's uh turn that off let that cool down a bit i mean it's like raining it's probably cold what are we doing over here i mean that yeah that's still 9.9 .9 liters i mean it's probably not the best condition i mean our engine's pretty dang horrible it's super rusty and 58 percent ah uh, that's probably the issue the engine not the not the radiator okay we do have a toolbox a repair box, I mean, so let's go ahead and fix that once or twice. Alright, that's pretty good. And, um, whose car is this? Who did I risk my life for here? Okay, so clearly not there. I am seeing kind of like another red car over there. So, uh, sure, let's head that way. And I should probably get some gas after this ordeal is kind of done with. Hey, there's even like a little port down there, too. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, there's actually a lot of these red cars. I guess it's a very popular model here. Oh, there is a garage thing here. Whatever this is called. Got another trailer there. That one kind of seems kind of free, if you know what I mean. Freiburger's Garage. Okay, this might be it. Kind of looks like they already have one there. I was kind of hoping he would say something. Hold on, hold on. I should... Oh! Did I... This was that the right thing to do? That gave me like 300,000, but um, hold on. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't mess that up. Is my parking brake on? I can't even see because the repair box is kind of right there. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, does he have anything to say or did he just kind of take it and call it a day? Yep, I guess I have nothing to say, but man, look at this. So inline six engine, it, I mean, it really just doesn't even fit in the hood, but hey, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, Flint diesel inline six, 170 horsepower, but man, look at that torque, 813 Newton meters. Okay. That's got some uphill power for sure. UVE radiator. I don't know what the UVE is. Same thing with that. I don't think it's that car. I think that's the Ludo. Oh, there's more parts over here. Oh, Turbo, Little B, War Whistle, and Big Brutus. Coolant, motor oil, another kind of truck engine. Kind of has more um, torque than horsepower. Some Pots wheel. I think the game does say, obviously, kind of the bigger the, the tires, the smoother kind of rides over stuff. Oh, but that's pretty cool. They really like decking out their cars here. I mean, I'm kind of here, so might as well grab a turbo, right? How about we go with, um, gosh, I kind of want all of them. But, um, I also feel like I might blow out an engine. But, hey, let's get Little B and War Whistle. Maybe we could put one on our truck. Oh, this guy has something to say. There's an abandoned building complex southwest that has a special toolbox somewhere in those buildings. There's a dirt road from Gonks that leads there. Bring me that toolbox and I'll pay you well for it. And something about a dirt road from Gonks. Oh, hmm. Doesn't seem to show on the map though. Oh, so it's probably like way over there. Kind of curious here about those turbos. If we could even put one. How are we doing on uh, oil? So that's still pretty good. I don't think we did too much damage to the engine. I mean, it's just kind of rusty. Need a new one either way. I think we need a war whistle for this truck. Hey, that's... Pretty cool. Again, getting super the long drive vibes. Okay, well, let's give it a little spin here. Hopefully it's not too much power and this just like blows up on me. Oh, you can kind of hear it spin, I think. Oh, yeah, you hear the back pressure there. Ooh, that's going to be super cool. 
Okay, let's go to third person and head to that gas station over here. Oh, that got up to speed pretty quickly. Okay, that might have been a really good purchase. Maybe kind of dangerous, actually. Oh. Okay, maybe I got a little carried away there in third gear. Yeah, that was a little, a little strange there. Oh, I don't think that's working out all that well. Because I think in gear number two, we were at least getting up to 30. Maybe I need a bigger turbo? Because, yeah, now I can't really go into third properly. Okay, that's a little, a little bit weird. Maybe, maybe not the, the right one for this truck. Maybe that's a, for a little car. Oh, gosh, and I didn't... Oh, thank goodness. I did bring my tools. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that off, unfortunately. I think next time, obviously, we'll kind of finish up our car or actually start working on it. It's going to need a lot of repairs. Got to put all the tires, suspension, engine, radiator, and now we have a turbo to try out. And then I think it already has gas from last time. Oop, wrong button there. So we don't have to really worry about that. But hey, we still got $400,000, so I think that's some pretty good money in case we need to modify or do anything else. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.